the four stages of Tacoma manual ownership. everybody how are you today pretty good here and let's talk about the four stages of manual Tacoma ownership you know those things you go through right after you get the manual transmission first of all the excitement of finding one you know with the decline of popularity I guess in the manual transmission or at least the number of people that are interested in driving one or learning how to drive one they're getting more and more difficult to find this one in particular and if you didn't know I'm driving a 2020 uh, Tacoma TRD off-road and it is in the six-speed manual configuration now I actually ordered this truck and spec'd it out with a manual transmission in it because that's what I wanted and it only took me five months to get this truck, but I finally did get it. But they're getting more and more difficult to get, and when you find one, the excitement has got to be overwhelming, I would think. Because after you've looked around enough, and keep in mind, even if you do find one, you've got to find one that hasn't been treated poorly, right? I mean, hopefully it was driven by somebody who knows how to drive a manual, and not somebody who was just trying to learn discovered they didn't like it and turned it back in after they had ruined the clutch maybe even the gears who knows so it's very exciting when you find the right one a good one and you can finally bring it home and call it your own number two getting used to where reverse is you know that was one of the things that i noticed right away in this truck because i'm used to reverse being all the way over and down right but in the Toyota Tacoma, reverse is all the way over and up. And a couple of times, you know, when it was new for me and I wasn't really used to it, I still had that old muscle memory, if the brain were a muscle, I guess, uh, but where I would automatically go into, or try to go into reverse the wrong way, right? So I'd be over and think I was gonna go forward in first because first would be, you know, all the way up to the left. And I was in reverse. There's a couple of times I was uh, actually at a stoplight. And fortunately, I don't take off like I'm trying to win a drag race, right? So I do my normal thing and I shift into what I think is reverse. I'm in first, or I think what's in first, I should say. See, it's confusing to even talk about. But I thought I was in first and indeed I'm in reverse and the truck takes that quick little jolt backwards right again pretty slow for me I didn't run into anybody but I bet I put a little bit of a scare into the guy that's sitting behind me right because my reverse lights would have come on and the truck actually did move a little bit in reverse so you got to kind of get used to that if you're like me anyway and you're used to driving I guess old school I don't know I think it just kind of depends on what truck or what manual you're in but for me took a little bit of getting used to that Number three, realizing it's not the smoothest transmission out there, manual transmission. Now, I say that because I've driven, man, I've driven exotics, I've driven Honda Civics, I've driven a lot of manual transmissions in my day. Uh, I learned how to drive on a Plymouth K car the most horrible manual transmission I've ever driven. Um, so I kind of thought in getting a new truck, a 2020, that it would be improved upon, right? That it would be like the best, you know, normal manual that you could get. So when I got in it, and it actually didn't even dawn on me until I was driving home, that's why I say realizing, because when I first drove it on the lot from out back to up front to do the paperwork and stuff, I really didn't notice. But when I'm driving home and I'm going through the gears and I'm listening and feeling and all that stuff, I realized that the manual transmission in the Tacoma is really nothing new. It's it's clunky, it's noisy, it's uh, it might be just a hair bit notchy, 
Um, and it's even, I just found out recently in the cold weather, a little particular when the fluids in there aren't very warm. Um, not a big deal, but I just, I kind of thought that, you know, it would be the latest and greatest because I was buying a new truck, right? I guess I didn't realize that Toyota uh, doesn't tend to upgrade very frequently. In other words, this is probably the same manual transmission that was in this truck, what, nine years ago, whenever the first third gen came out, and maybe even before that, and there really hasn't been a whole lot of improvement. You know, I mentioned before on the channel that the best manual that I've driven, mainstream manual, nothing exotic or anything, is the Honda Civic. The Honda Civic has an awesome manual transmission in it. Buttery smooth, easy to drive, buttery light, I should say feathery light clutch. I mean, it, the whole setup is just awesome. And I gotta say, the Tacoma's nothing like that. Not knocking the Tacoma, uh, it is just what it is, that's all. Uh, number four, accepting it for what it is and enjoying the awesomeness of the Tacoma manual transmission. You know, once you go through all these stages, which I have, you know, the disappointment, realizing it's not the latest and greatest up to date, figuring out where reverse is, over the initial excitement of actually finding one, that's when you kind of settle in. It's like the honeymoon phase is over, right? Now you're just kind of daily driving it, doing your thing, sometimes not even really thinking about the manual transmission because if you're like me and you've driven one for like 298 years, it just kind of becomes second nature and it's not unless you do something wrong, like let's say hit the wrong gear um, or maybe God forbid grind something, that sometimes you're even aware that you're in a manual transmission. You know, I'll find as I'm out driving around, going place to place or whatever, until I start to think about it, I didn't even realize I was shifting through the gears because it just kind of becomes second nature after a while. And I think once that occurs in the Tacoma, once you get over all these, these first three stages and accept that it is what it is, it's a lot more fun. It's a lot better to drive because your expectations, I think, are then more in line with what the truck really is. And that's kind of where it is for me. You know, I know when I talk about the manual transmission or some previous videos that I've made, you know, it seems to me from the comments that, that people think that I, I hate it. I really don't like it. I wish I wouldn't have gotten it. Couldn't be further from the truth. You know, I got this truck in a manual configuration because I like driving manual transmissions. Admittedly, you do have to get used to them. Each one of them has their own little nuances, you know. I told you in the beginning, I've driven everything from you know, high-priced exotics to very, very inexpensive Honda Civics, and every one of them had their own nuances, right? You kind of have to get used to where things are and, and how they notch in and how much clutch you need to give. I mean, heck, even on the clutch, you need to figure out where that friction point is, right? You know, when you bring the clutch up and everything starts to engage, mesh together, Everything's different. You just have to get used to it. So anyway, those are the four stages of Tacoma manual ownership that I have gone through. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And be honest. Don't be a fanboy. Be honest. What do you think of the manual transmission in the Tacoma? And did you go through these four stages yourself? I'd be curious to know. Also, I have two, that's dose, additional channels. The first is Rob Motive JT all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Sport, it was a manual, and the Honda Civic Type R, another manual, in two very different manuals, I might add. Check them out, and if you like them, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.